Whew. All right, we have seen nearly every part of the weather spectrum <laughs> these last couple of days. No kidding, Mike is in now with the all important weekend forecast. Mike. Better than today. Good. Okay. Not as good as yesterday. <laughs> All right, well, but kind of that sweet spot in between. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's a Goldilocks yeah. forecast, right? All right, scattered snow showers continue to diminish to the west and south of the Denver area. The advisories and warnings have all been lifted, but there's still a few flurries back to the west over Jefferson County, parts of Douglas County. That will be ending tonight as skies begin to clear. Temperatures getting cold out there. It's 25 at Centennial and Aurora, 28 at the airport, down to 1 at Berthoud Pass, 12 at Blackhawk and Ward. Going to be a cold one tonight. Clearing and cold. A chilly day tomorrow with some gusty winds. Warmer again next week and more mountain snow arrives Sunday night into Monday. For today, the high was at 12.01 a.m. at 38 degrees after yesterday's 71. 26 has been the low. The averages are 56 and 28. Melt down that rain snow and it's a about 13 one hundredths of an inch in the gauge out at DIA. 28 at the airport now, 30 downtown, rising pressure. Winds have lightened up a bit out of the east southeast to 6. Partly cloudy and cold tomorrow morning, 22 at 7 a.m., 36 by 11 a.m. Our storm has moved well to the east of us. A lot of severe weather tonight in Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas. Rain across the Mississippi Valley, some snow in Wisconsin, and we just have a little bit of lingering snow over the mountains, especially down to the southwest of us by morning. Windy and cold on the Northeast Plains, a few flurries lingering in the mountains. The lows drop down to two below zero at Craig, where the skies will clear. One below at Steamboat, 15 at Lyman, 23 at Ray, Burlington, 20, two at Leadville, and four below at Walden by morning, while Red Feather drops down to zero. We'll see readings around 20 in the metro area. Cold morning, kind of mostly cloudy skies. There'll be some flurries in the mountains again tomorrow, but sunny and chilly on the plains. By late in the day, kind of a partly cloudy sky. A few mountain flurries again. The highs, not much warmer than today, just in the mid 30s to around 40 at lower elevations and only in the 20s in the mountains. Statewide tomorrow is just a chilly day. Cold air will be around here, some flurries. Take a look at the big map as we head into Saturday. Showers and storms down over the southeast. Snow and rain in New Mexico and maybe a little bit in southern Colorado. By Sunday, that colder air begins to move off to the east. Milder air begins to come in. The next California storm approaches as we get into Monday with some snow for the mountains, but still milder on the plains. This one will not be as strong, but it could spread some rain and snow to the Denver area by the middle part of next week. So only 40 tomorrow, still kind of a gusty northwest wind, especially out on the plains. Sunny, cool on Saturday, a little bit milder weather on Sunday. If you're heading up to ski on this last weekend of winter, might be a few flurries in the afternoon Sunday, but a pretty good looking weekend and great snow up there. Monday's the first day of spring. Tuesday up to 57, 60 coming up Wednesday, and then some light rain and snow and 47 next Thursday. Sports is coming up next. We'll be right back.